from miscibility and the distillation, the composition liquid and the vapor phases in the same diagram. One last one. <laughs> oh, the miscibility loop. It's just a language. Okay. So there are cases where XA is the other one. There are cases like this. What's, what do you think that? I mean, this, this means are two phases. Phase separation. So at this temperature, you will have phase separation into these two points. Right? But if you have lower temperature, you will be miscible. At high temperature, you will be miscible. And this one is actually, so it's, it, this is actually so what they call the the lower critical solution, so above which you are free separate into a lower critical temperature, and this one is upper critical temperature. And the lower critical temperature here is 61 degrees, and this is 210 degrees for when your A is. This compound is this is uh, nicotine. So when you have a nicotine, which is a liquid, okay, sticky liquid, with the water, you can mix their composition. They are miscible in water at room temperature. You heat it up, you will have actually something that is nicotine rich and the nicotine lean to composition. And if you keep on heating it, and then you know, 210 degrees or higher, they have a really high temperature, they become visible again. So this is a miscibility. And the reason this, this one is so much complicated is obviously it involves the hydrogen bonding, and hydrogen bonding is, you cannot really easily explain their temperature dependence behavior. Once again, the people love this temperature versus composition uh, and the description of their miscibility is and, and, and the uh, phase behavior because it can be done in easily in the experiment. I, have, I can do the, a lot of sample chamber that has a control the temperature to be that and to see if they are having a two phases. So if I have this temperature, if I'm looking at it the way, there are two phases. Right? And if, I, if I have, a, have it up, there are no phases. I don't see any phase separation. So that's, that's how they easily determine, fix the temperature and to see if there's a phase separation or not. And then they essentially construct the phase diagram.